Seven times the Supreme Court has delivered judgments in the governorship election litigations. However, the high point of the Apex Court's decision is a return of governors, especially those sacked either by the election tribunal or the courts of appeal. Joining us to discuss this is a spokesperson for the NNPP Presidential Campaign Council, Abubakar Yusufu. Abubakar Yusufu is a legal PR practitioner, the president of Betroitic Lawyers Forum. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Abubakar Yusufu. Thank you so much. I'm pleased to be here. All right. Um, to go straight into it, what is your reaction to the Supreme Court's judgment on Friday, which returned three state governors, which are Kano State, Plateau State, and Akwaibom State? Very epic, groundbreaking, and uh, I'm happy that uh, the, the, the gradual movement into one party state was avoided and uh, this is uh, a cause for celebration and uh, the Supreme Court has given vent to this idea of uh, putting a shine on the, uh, on the institution of uh, the judiciary by throwing aboard most of the irreconcilable judgments of the Court of Appeal. So I say, I say kudos to the Supreme, to the Supreme Court and uh, Kudos to the victors, especially the governor of uh, Kano State, Abba uh, Yusuf, Abba Gida Gida, that is Abba House to House. And of course, my leader and uh, teacher, uh, Dr. Musa Rabi Kwankonso, and all members of uh, the NNPP family. Okay, so let's talk about the one that concerns you in particular, that of Kano State's governor. Are you surprised by the decision of the court? Well, I, I was not surprised. It was uh, clear that uh, from inception, the tribunal exceeded the bounds of uh, judicial uh, reason. As a matter of fact, the Supreme Court was uh, uh, kind enough to say that the judgment itself, uh, both at the uh, tribunal and the Court of Appeal, uh, was perverse. You know, you discover that uh, at, the, uh, at the tribunal, you know, they said uh, there was a uh, over voting with 165,000, and uh, that those votes were not uh, stamped or authenticated. And again, the, the Court of Appeal, the judgment was more hilarious and uh, more challenging in the sense that uh, we had uh, at least two judgments. You know, the first judgment gave victory to APC, whereas the conclusion uh, gave victory to NNPP. So, you know, it was like the Mamelian Bat, who was, uh, you, who you can describe that. Uh, you know, it was neither a bed nor a well-defined uh, mama. You know, I think, uh, you know, Supreme Court was uh, very unsparing in uh, restoring the, the victory of uh, Abba uh, Yusuf or Abba uh, Gida Gida. All these things considered by the Court of Appeal and even the, uh, the, the Court of Forces Standard Tribunal, they are pre-election matters, you know, and uh, there have been no ground for them to consider. But be that as it may, we need to congratulate everybody, even the president of the country, uh, Bola Metinibu, for staying uh, aloof and ensuring that justice is actually manifested. I say congratulations to the president and even the vice president for a job well done. About the appeal courts, and I just want to bring that in now. At the appeal, um, there was a controversy on whether what the justices read was different from what was in the printed copies. Do you think it was an error, or as was instituted in some quarters? Well, I'm a senior. I'm not just a, a lawyer. I'm a senior member of the panel. I do not want to be part and parcel of uh, the, the group that will stigmatize the the profession here. But be that as it may, you know, you discover that, uh, you see, a judgment contains about three parts. You have the reciters, that is the story put forward by the, the petitioner. You have the one that follows, which is uh, the respondent. And you have the, the analysis, and you have the judgment. This is what, uh, you know, they call uh, the thesis. The thesis probably, we say, goes to the, 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 the petitioner, while the antithesis uh, is the reply which is called the, the antithesis. And uh, the judgment itself, you can say, is the synthesis. So there was really no marriage between uh, the, 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 the facts considered and the conclusion. Whereas the facts, the citers, and uh, the, 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 the part of the judgment gave victory to APC. You know, the conclusion even uh, went as far as uh, uh, asking APC to be fine that the real uh, victors 
were the NMPP. So it was uh, ludicrous, subhuman, the constitution. I would say it was uh, very petty, uh, puerile, chauvinistic, and uh, highly unscholarly. Now, I, I want to find out how then can this kind of embarrassment be prevented in future? Well, some are seeing it as uh, ludicrous. They, they, in fact, they made the uh, you know, uh, jokes out of it by asking that uh, the, the, the Supreme Court use Kuboko, so to say, to, 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 to instill discipline on the uh, Court of Appeal. I think it should be a very serious thing. This should be reported to the action of the Court of Appeal. Some of them should be reported to the NGC, National Judicial Commission, for an uh, appropriate uh, disciplinary committee. You know, so you, you have the right to give a judgment, you know, according to your views. But when it becomes so ludicrous and uh, laughable, you have a judgment containing two parts. One, a victory to A, the other one, a victory to B, and yet it's supposed to be a single judgment. That calls for uh, sanction. I will ask that these people be sanctioned. Okay. So in light of all this, um, would you say the judiciary has been over-labored with um, election petitions? Well, I would not say that. You discover that even uh, then, the Supreme Court has come uh, searing and flaming, has come to correct the ills of the appeal court. I say kudos to them and uh, these uh, criticisms that we, you know, that used to trail the, them should uh, be avoided. And also, let me also congratulate you, Fourth Estate of the Realm, for the role you played. You discover that all the times from court of, from the Supreme, from the tribunal to the Supreme Court, everybody was behind the NNPP. You know, the only person that was uh, maybe against the application was uh, maybe the chairman of uh, APC because uh, he had a score to, to, he has an ass to grind with the uh, NNPP. But thank God that we have victory and uh, we are going to ensure that uh, Abba, Gida, Gida, Abba Yusuf is able to manifest his manifesto. So, but would you support the call for special courts that comprises of retired judges for um, election matters such as this? Well, this is part of our recommendation, and this is where the issue of uh, restructuring comes to play. Anything that will unbundle the, 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 the judiciary it should uh, be encouraged. But again, this issue should not be taken too far. If uh, this thing had stopped at the Court of Appeal, there would have been a uh, some people suffer, like in the Plato State. Those people that stopped at the Court of Appeal, whose judgment or redress could not extend beyond the Court of Appeal, they will be regretting now. They will not be able to get the, the manifest judgment that became clearer when the, court of, when the Supreme Court took over. So it's neither here nor there. We need special, we need special courts to really deal with these matters so that uh, the weight that is uh, yeah, going to be put on some of these courts, like the APS Court, will be reduced. So much, Abu Bakar Yusufu, for your for throwing a light on this and for sharing your insights with us. We really do appreciate. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Now, ahead of um, a 2024 governorship election.